I started running um, competitively when I was about 11 years old. I was uh, what we call in middle school in the States and we had a little cross country team. So uh, in the fall, in the autumn, uh, I was on the school team and we would do little like 3K to 5K running races. And then I ran cross country through high school where the races were a little bit longer. And I did my first ultra when I was 22, so 10 years ago. It was a 50 kilometer race and I thought it would just be something that I would do just once to say I did and then kind of just go back to, you know, doing shorter running races. But I really caught the ultra running bug. Um, I just fell in love with it, the community of people, um, the way it challenges your mind and your body and then just being immersed in nature. I just loved it. Um, and I just wanted to keep pushing myself further and further and doing longer and longer races. And so that's how I got into it. In ultra trail running, I love being in the mountains. I love um, climbing up like big climbs and then doing long descents. Um, being in like the alpine mountain atmosphere is my favorite. I don't really love running on like flat terrain because I'm not a very fast runner. Um, but I think I have a decent ability to kind of go at one pace for a long time. So preparing for um, a long ultra race, I typically will just do, uh, especially like a mountainy race like this, like UTMB, uh, I will typically just go out and run for hours and hours on the in the trails in the mountains. Um, sometimes I'll pick up the pace if I feel like I need to, sometimes I won't, but for me, I really need to be enjoying the training. If I view it as like, training that I have to do, like I have to do this run and I have to be running at this pace, that makes it seem more like a chore to me and then I'm not getting any joy out of it and if I'm not happy when I'm running, then what's the point? So I just love going out and doing big long runs and so I'll go out and run, you know, three, four, five hours and stop at a lake, stop at the top of a mountain, eat my lunch and, you know, run back down. When I'm really feeling low in a race, um, my trick is to just block out the negative thoughts, because um, usually that's what's bothered, like that's the worst part is just thinking negatively. And so I either just tell myself a certain mantra, like, you know, whatever it is, like you can do this or that type of thing, or I'll break the race up into smaller portions in my head. I'll say, okay, just make it to the next aid station. You can run this next 10 kilometers. And I make that my next little goal. So I find if I break it into smaller sections, it seems less overwhelming and intimidating as opposed to thinking like, oh my gosh, I have 150 kilometers to go. I think, okay, I have 10 kilometers to go to the aid station. Just make it to the next aid station and reassess and kind of take a little break or whatever. So I find breaking it into smaller points and keeping a positive mindset really helps. My technique for running, I've actually worked with a friend of mine um, who helped me uh, really focus on my running form because it is important. So I try and think of myself as being very light on the trails and I try and think of myself as flowing through the trails and really trying to be light on my feet and you know the less impact that you can have on your legs as possible and maintaining like a good posture and actually really focusing on your core and I like to think about like my belly button and my heart kind of be connected to a string that's kind of like pulling me down the trail that way I'm keeping like good posture that makes my hips in a good alignment and makes me kind of run a better form so which is important over the course of 160 kilometers. I think the UTWT is an amazing organization and it's an amazing opportunity for trail runners to be able to travel the world and see some of the most beautiful places and discover these new trails and mountains and also connect with other runners around the world, which is great. I love coming to these events because you meet runners from all over the world, which I think is fantastic. Um, it's great to discover and and learn more about other cultures and um, other trail running and it really just opens your eyes and it makes it exciting for me. Um, it's just a way to discover the world and immerse yourself into a different mountain culture, which um, I love. <laughs>